the lady is like this badass bitch, and I'm sorry for the word, but she yeah, really is. I know. Well, I was thinking actually the other day, like, you know, everybody, all the other rest of her, um, animals, you know, these animalistic underbellies of the human uh, soul, I guess. But at the beast, they're just bitches. Like, they're just the witch. Like, there's no animal. There's no primal thing. It's just terrible, terrible thing. Well, just when we think we can trust her, we're going to like her, she does something so bad. You're like, wow. But I will say that she doesn't think that she's doing something that is not as bad as she thinks, you know, losing her child. So she's, she doesn't really see the consequences yet because the is so much more desperate. But I think that will, you know, that's starting to be a part of in the coming episodes. So is that about, what's her journey like for this season? This season, so I don't know, we only have the first three scripts, so we only read, but um, she, punishment is coming for her, she's going to, uh, things get very dire, things get very bleak. <laughs> Again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back in Vienna. I don't know why she keeps going back there, <laughs> why not just go to Paris or something? Well, she did go to Europe for quite a long time, and it has, didn't fare out so well for her. Maybe she figures that's the safest place on Earth she can control things. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. So are you looking forward to her search for... For the baby? Yes. Well, it always, I mean, it sends me as an actor off on such wild uh, and fun and fantastic tasks. It's a good uh, playground to be Will it force her into just like unusual alliances? Oh, yes. Uh, particularly unusual. Uh, and you'll only understand what that means in after episode two. But yeah. It's a very strange alliance. Well, it seems like she's always constantly turning back to the people she knows, whether she, she likes them or not. That's what, yeah, because it hasn't really been established. And Ashley doesn't have friends. She doesn't have family anymore. Um, we don't know but it's really, you know, she's on her own. She's starting to kind of fully understand how it feels. Well, we were teased that um, Captain Renard's mother's going to make an appearance this season. Yes. Is Adelaide actually a little intimidated by her? Well, I don't, you know, the first couple of episodes, I'm in the end still, so I don't know that she's going to town. But I, they're writing uh, his mother as sort of being the hex and beast to end all hex and beasts. So I would assume I would have known that her mother would be able to have actually come into the What has surprised you about your character? I mean, you know, everything. It, just the twists and turns and the fact that, uh, you know, having the baby, baby is it's not good, but, but human, and giving her some emotions to play uh, has been surprising. And, you know, losing the baby. I mean, we, I knew that the baby was probably not long, it was very long, twins, the baby twins. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's always a surprise. Were you a sci-fi fan or, or a geek yeah. of this sort before I, you got in the show? Yeah, I grew up with um, Star Trek and just pretty much anything that involves That's space it. or the end of the world, like disaster. Really? Um, yeah, and then aliens. I used to have recurring alien nightmares uh, when I was little, so I was terrified and also, you know, was just really amazing by the possibility. So the show was into space. Which is only you know a mile of disappointment, but getting to deal with creatures and monsters and uh, getting to uh, work with the Jesus uh, band. So, Hex and Beast in space is really yes. your, your fantasy role. <laughs> <laughs> <Really? laughs> Anybody? Why social media? Well, you were able to do that together anyway. They've got her off on the same path now. Just kind of realizing the ramifications of what she's done and giving her more. Great, thank you. Thank you guys.